Today in Tracy's basement, we're adding a whole bunch of cute figs to our collection. Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, today we are adding a whole bunch of Q figs to our collection. We have a variety of Q figs from different franchises, different mm -hmm. companies. So this you is know, a, an eclectic collection. Most of them are, are Marvel and DC, though, and we Mostly, got yeah. one outlier in Star Trek. But, uh, <laughs> and uh, most of these came from Loot Vault. Uh, but a couple of them have come, like this one. Uh, I got you at Books a Million, and this one I can't remember. I got this one. one. I, oh <laughs> yes, from, I remember. Yeah, I um, remember that now. I forget where I it's got just, it. Because it, it was sitting in the backlog for so long, <laughs> and uh, I was like, I can't remember where we got this. But uh, I remember. I remember that now. Yes. Uh, so. So shall we start with the one outlier? Okay, we can start with the outlier if you want. And this one is a Q pop. Q <laughs> pop. Uh, Which I believe is just what they yeah, were called this, before these, they became Q-Figs. These are like the precursors of Q-Figs. They're not as um, dynamic and, and explosive or anything like that, but these were the ones that were basically the same style of character with the kind of cute body and slightly bigger head without, you know, without going the massive yeah. head group, but they had the <laughs> slightly bigger head and they had the speech bubbles uh, in the background that you could put on there. So, Q-Pop the precursor of Q figs. So let's move the rest of them out of the way so you guys can see us. So this is Spock, my boy Spock. <laughs> Your boy? I do, I do love my boy Spock. <laughs> I love my original series Star Trek. Yeah, we're big fans of the original series. Yeah. Next generation to Next generation a is cool. slightly lesser extent. Yeah. Oh no, uh, Picard's pretty pretty awesome. I'll Picard's pretty awesome. Picard's Jordy's pretty awesome. awesome, Data's awesome, Next Generation's awesome. Don't you dare say that again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> but I am a huge fan of the original series, Star Trek, and it's mostly due to Spock and the cheese factor. Yes. I, and and, <laughs> and the, the fact that uh, <laughs> Captain Kirk has to tumble everywhere he goes. That, that's just that's just amazing to me. It, it's so acrobatic. It's amazing. It's an amazing show just for the cheese. So if you've never seen it, because uh, I know I was bad for it too. I used to be really bad for this uh, pre-judging stuff and like judging stuff based <laughs> on the fan culture and things like that. But I went and I tried it uh, like ooh, quite a few years ago now. But uh, it was a lot later in my uh, <laughs> geek, later. <laughs> geek life because I had the, the, the predisposed notion of uh, Star Trek. And then I tried it and I fell absolutely in love with that original series because it, it just played so well to my cheese factor. But... We'll be rambling here all day if I uh, <laughs> keep talking about how awesome the original series is. I so. love this little Spock. He is absolutely adorable in the little pose with his hands behind his back, and he's got the serious eyebrows, of course, because Spock is always just serious and logical and very, very rarely ever emotional. There's <laughs> always got to be 16 tons of tape on every fig figure we open. You know that? <laughs> every company has to put... Nobody's going anywhere with it. Stop over taping it. We're not taking off with it. It's, it's their early ones, so I'm going to cut them some slack, okay? But seriously, companies, stop over taping, over twist tying, and over packaging. I'm losing it. I'm losing it here. Okay, continue. <laughs> they did an awesome job on his hair. He's got that straight across the forehead. I absolutely love it. And the ears, of course. Ears, very, very important. It's a uh, very simple version. He's just standing there. He's got the little tricorder pack on his uh, shoulder there. And it's very, very uh, plainly colored. You know, plain black, plain skin tone, plain blue. But it's a very cute, adorable little figure of Spock. And of I love, course. like, he's got the little kind of wrinkle marks on either yeah, side of his nose right. there and everything. Very, very adorable. Yeah. They do all come with stands, which Jason's working on. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little bit of a sharp end uh, put on this one because it's like a speech bubble. <laughs> but of course, it says how. T oh, look, he's got the tricorder bag. Just Perfect. Like that. Perfect. Not Sorry, to I was again. struggling with the very easy thing to do because simple things 
are sometimes hard. So, see? Like, putting him in the, the place, because I'm putting him in backwards. Look, I've got the whole thing backwards. I'm failing miserably at this very, very easy to do thing. So I gotta turn this around now, and this is gonna be a 20 minute video of me not being able to put a peg in a hole, okay? You know like those shape games when you're a kid <laughs> and you gotta put the circle in the circle? Well, I was adamant the square was going in there. I could see that. Yeah, because you know, you don't mess with me. Think outside the box. <laughs> there so, he is on anyway. his little stand. <laughs> his little stand does have Starfleet, Starfleet insignia on it. It does. And, and he's got his little speech bubble. Which, they come with markers, actually. But I actually like usually like the sayings on them yeah. anyway. Because the saying is actually a sticker. Uh, but you can write whatever you want on us. How typically human. How, and then you can yep. peel that off and write what you want, if you want. Yeah. Oops. How typically human's a good one. So far, everyone I've seen, yeah. I've liked what was on the bubble, so I've just left it. Yeah. Illogical. Illogical would, would be, would be, would be yes. uh, another <laughs> great one. Or fascinating. Fascinating. That would be a good one, too. That would be good. Fascinating. <laughs> All right, let's move on, and this time we can do your Loot Crate exclusive, Deadpool. Ooh, you guys know I love me some Deadpool. I do actually have this particular one already in the basic red, but this is taped. Yeah, I'll tell That's you what, what I'm going to do, though. I'm gonna, you're going <laughs> to talk about it, and then you're going to give it to me, and then I'm going to break out the shredder. And then I'm going to untape it, and then we're going to continue, because there's got to be 16 layers of tape on everything we open. Actually, that one wasn't too bad, but I'm still vicious. <laughs> so. so what I was trying to say is that I have the regular red suit, but this is the X-Factor suit. X-Factor. <laughs> X-Factor. X-Force. X-Factor. I've never even seen yeah. X-Factor. No, that, that, Why would that, come that out right that? there, that is the Fear Factor variant. You see, uh, if you take off his mask, that's Joe Rogan <laughs> under under the mask. It's not even Wade Wilson. It's Joe Rogan. Serious. Dead serious. That would be amazing. <laughs> but I love this cute pig. So I am perfectly happy to have the two different versions because it is just amazing. Look at it. It's a big explosion. Yeah, and he's just being thrust forward. They're very dynamic uh, figures for, for such small oh, vinyl yeah. figures. They do an they, amazing job they, of the poses. And I, I'm going to be perfectly honest. QMX in the small vinyl figure uh, market, uh, like, you know, the, the, I wouldn't say cheaper because they're not, like, they're not like, because that makes yeah. it sound like they're not good. No. Uh, the, but, the, just but you know what I mean? The, the, size, the figures that aren't yeah. overly expensive, yeah. uh, they're blowing it away. Like, oh, they, yeah. they're, they're probably doing the best job in the smaller, uh, less expensive vinyl figure market. In but. these Q-Figs in general, just, I mean, look at how dynamic that is. <laughs> it's, it's so it's awesome. Cool. They did a great job with, like, the, the fiery explosion look of it and the smoke and everything. He's got his swords and everything. It's just beautiful. It's great. I love Deadpool. I love the red one. I love the X-Force one. Not X-Factor. No. X-Force. No, that, but that is the Joe Rogan variant, so... <laughs> remember that if you're looking them up on on the internet to go buy one it's the joe rogan variant okay next oh he was in there really good we've got dr strange so we're gonna stick with marvel for now okay, okay? and then i'm gonna do a couple dc ones but i want to get dr strange out here um a lot of people weren't a fan of the dr strange movie but uh, I found it just fun. I, you know, I, I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, so, I mean, I won't go oh, and say it was the best Marvel movie No, it was not the best Marvel movie. But the Marvel movies, they're popcorn movies. You know what I mean? You yeah. go, you have a good time. Uh, I think people are just starting to take comic book movies just way too serious nowadays. Like, it's it's just superhero movies, man. <laughs> like, it's just fun. just go have a good have time. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you're not going to like them all, though. And I do see some of the problems that people would have had with the movie. But I did enjoy the movie, and uh, it's an excellent Q fig. It so. is. I love it. I actually really like the look. You just like Benedict Cumberbatch. Well, I love Benedict. You Cumberbatch. just like Bumblebee yes. Cumberbun, right? <laughs> the movie was actually the first real look I ever got at Doctor Strange because I never got into any of the comics or anything. I saw him like in some of the Marvel video games. Yeah, you were. But... You never really had much Doctor Strange knowledge. I, I I will admit my Doctor Strange knowledge was minimal myself. I, I knew about him. I knew stuff about him, but but I wasn't a big follower no. of Doctor Strange. But I mean, I, I would happily look into him now because I find him an yep. interesting character. I love the look of him with the blue 
almost kind of a samurai looking outfit and then the cloak of levitation it's definitely mage it, it's more like mage robes i wouldn't yeah, say samurai robes. it's more like mage mage, robes. mage monk Makes robes he's got his yeah. flowing cape uh he's got his rune magic of course yes, he's, he's shooting his rune magic. The rune magic they did a great job on the he's going like this curving. yeah and uh <laughs> Despite it being overly stylized and stuff like that, you can still almost tell that it's Bandersnatch Crocodile. <laughs> so, pretty cool. So, he's got his, of course, uh, kind of graying hair. Gray along the yep. sides there. And the mustache and the goatee. Love it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got his little flip. So, he's that's pretty cool. one of the uh, not quite as dynamic ones. Because he's just standing there, but they did a good job with the like, the cloak of levitations all floating out. Yeah, and so I approve. It's an awesome little. Place. I approve of oh, Buffalo course. Cabbage Patch. So let's move on to Wonder Woman, which I actually got you for Christmas Yay. this year because I <laughs> grabbed it when we were down in Maine, and I'm going to cut the tape for you before we rip this open and show it. Because look at this one. This one would have screwed us up too because this one's got an extra tape. Oh. Terrible. Crazy. Just Terrible. crazy. <laughs> so. The Wonder Woman one is adorable. <laughs> they made her like she's a little kid and she's running and flying her little invisible jet. I just think that is the most adorable that is, idea. <laughs> that is pretty cute. There's lots of stuff they could have done with Wonder Woman. There actually is another Wonder Woman one where she's on the, on the horse. On the horse. That, that one's really nice That too. one's really, really that's, cool uh, too. That's more... Uh, DCEU. Yeah, Wonder that's Woman. more aimed towards it's, the movie it's the side movies. of things. But this like is that. like the the more classic of version of her, and I just love that idea of because they all kind of look a little bit like little kids the way they're designed. So they got her with a little toy invisible jet. Like that's just so adorable. It I is. love it. It's very good. And the lasso is done nice too, right? Yeah, they got her lasso done nice. Her outfit is perfect. Her hair is all flowy and everything. And she's got just the adorable little child she's happy. face. She is so She's got so childlike happy. innocence. Uh, and this one's done in like the old Q-pop style too. It is a Q-fig, but it has the old Q-pop style because these ones didn't come with any. Uh, yeah, no. It didn't seem. Because these so are just over style. They're hyper stylized figures. This one's got the Q-pop style of uh, speech bubble that you can put on it if you want. And it says... I assure you, it's as real as the ground on which we stand. Of course, talking about her invisible jet. <laughs> so you pop that in there. See, that one went pretty easy. See, sometimes I can get the peg in the hole. <laughs> Ladies. Okay, let's let's do a uh, another DC one. So we are. Jeez, I got. The, I don't have Spock in the shot. What's Poor up with that? Spock. I've been totally neglectful of Spock here. So. That was, I don't know how he got put down there. That that's just ridiculous. You're sure not paying attention. I know. I'm just a terrible person. I, I got you. Got to treat your boys right. Uh, so we're moving on to Harley Quinn. Um, this is the last DC one we have, but we do have another Marvel one to show you guys. Let you me guys get the tape off here. No, that I love Harley. You can see no. Me. Okay couple of things back here and I, don't I just think, opened some things recently. I don't think I don't think you've ever done a Harley haul. I think I I could swear you don't even collect this character. This nothing. <laughs> Definitely don't like Harley at all. So. Oh, she's awesome. So I do have the Suicide Squad one that came in another loot crate? It, was it? No, I think this, I think yeah. so. I think it came in a loot crate. I think well, it's back possibly here it somewhere. came in something. So she's up there on the shelf behind the yeah, you, bomb shelf. You guys there. probably can't see her behind there, but it's going to get reorganized. Is, uh, the Suicide Squad one. I do like that one too, even though I wasn't the biggest fan of the movie. Yeah. It's a cute cute pop, but I really, really like this one because she's in that iconic red and black with the Harlequin uh, headgear and the diamonds and everything. And she's got the white face and the big huge grin, and I love that they gave her just the most enormous mallet. It's huge. <laughs> it does move a little bit if you want to kind of twist it. And she's got her hyena. The creepy <laughs> hyena. I love the hyena. The hyena has the um the Harlequin, the Harlequin <laughs> headdress uh, <laughs> thing on too. Very good. It's, so it's funny. and it's very very cartoony uh hyena too. Yeah, it's it looks very, like very it came great. right out of yeah. the animated series. I do love the pose on her and everything too. Oh, very yeah. crazy. She looks crazy. She does. She she's looks got that absolutely little insane. Childlike skip going on but then with the big yeah creepy grin. I like that. I'm going awesome. to center these more on the camera here. And, uh, don't get mad at me. I cracked <laughs> the stand. So I knew you were going to get mad. It's just a stand. I can glue it. I can glue it. I can fix this. 
It's just a pole. I can glue the pole and put it in the slot. I'm so, <laughs> so upset with you. You may as well show everybody what it says. It's a simple fix. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I just got to glue the pole back. I got to stand here like this for the rest of the video. No. Just show them what it says. It says, hi, pudding. Miss me? I can't sorry. do a Harley Quinn voice. I'm sorry. Sorry. I ruined everything. I ruined the day. You. Divorced. We're getting divorced. I've done so much wrong. All right. <laughs> this is the last one. Uh... And this one was super awesome. I got this on a loot vault sale. I kept my eyes out. Uh, I don't think this guy lasted long. No, on the site. I, I think he's you, done a lot best. of the stuff on the loot vault site when it shows up, it does not stay. Some of it goes like that, especially like, when they put those good sales. on. Yeah, when they put the good sales on, when they have these awesome figures that people might have missed out on on the deluxe boxes. Sometimes that stuff just goes so fast. You just got to be lucky and be on the site at the time. But I was super, super happy to get this. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, Q-Fig Max Star Wars. So this is like their uh, higher-end Q-Fig. So they're usually a little bit bigger, usually a little bit more dynamic. And let me just take him out here. And look at that. That is so cool. They, look, look they cool is. came up with the perfect idea of yeah. having him blast off with the, the uh, jetpack. And it's all flame and dust and yep. like oh. look at the flames coming out. Very, That's very just cool. perfect. Of course the flame being what's holding him in the air and it all attaches down here, of course, but it's so nice it's so cool to see him kinda flying and yeah. hovering in the he's air. He's got like the one knee up so he's he's like jumping. Yep. Very in action battle pose. With the he's guns got out. the Mega Man pose yeah, for shooting. Actually. That's <laughs> actually exactly Mega Man's pose when he's jumping and shooting. Uh so yeah. Mega Man. See? I knew there was a reason I love this even more. There you go. Mega Man. You know how much I love <laughs> Mega Man. Uh, the mask, very, very well done, detailed, and the hair flips coming out. Even his little guns are, are very well done, like I said, for such a small vinyl figure. Oh, yeah. uh, they, they spared they, no detail. They put a lot of detail. Yep. They, the they pants, do great molds. Yep, the pants, they got the, the, the cargo, you know, pockets, the, the straps, uh, the little metal and everything He's on his chest plate yeah. for his jetpack jacket underneath and everything yeah like, his classic leather jacket <laughs> like the the slots and the belt like everything like i said for such a small vinyl figure they do amazing jobs like that's why i'm saying like they are killing uh in the quality for your buck oh, in the sure. in the small vinyl figure market right now i know it's it's a really flooded over bloated market right now for for low lower priced vinyl figures but these are the best ones out there i find i like <laughs> i will go on record saying q figs qmx they make the best of this tier of collectible i agree yeah. they take great care they obviously love what they're doing they come up with great ideas for them they make beautiful figures end yeah. of story it, that's it that's all i can say hey <laughs> it's beautiful it's awesome they're fun to collect they're varied uh, and you don't have to you don't have to collect them all. You don't have to worry about flooding your collection because there's there's lots to choose from without going overboard. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, I love them. I, I will continue to support what QMX is doing, and they just put out the Animaniacs ones. And have you seen those? They're not even like hyper stylized. They look like they were plucked right, right out of the out show. Of the cartoon. Like that, it's crazy what they're doing for, for such yeah for such an affordable priced uh, figure. It, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I love it. But. So that was six Q figs. Well, five Q figs and one Q pop. Same yes. difference that we've added to our collection today. Do you have a favorite? Q Max. <laughs> I mean, I have favorite. I, pairs. I love them all because we bought them all. Uh, I just love the dynamicness of the Star-Lord one, so I think that is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> so. I'm having a hard time choosing between the Star-Lord and the yeah, Harley Quinn. Yeah, it's cool that Harley's she has her awesome. hyena. She has her hyena, <laughs> and it is Harley Quinn. Uh, it, that one's kind of a cute poppy style, too, more than a cute fig, yeah, I, I find. No, nah, well, she's got a small head and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. You tell me what I'm talking about <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> Which is probably just a bunch of nonsense, yes. but I'm going with him. I'm going to go with Harley Quinn just because you went, you went with him. Okay, you okay. can do that if you want, but that just means I, I made a better choice. So yeah. I win. I win. Falls victory. Friendship. <laughs> friendship. Again. So, Guys, 
Let us know what you thought of these in the comment section below. Let us know which one is your favorite. Let us know if you have any for yourself, what mm -hmm. you have in your collection. Share some pictures with us oh, on social media. Yeah, put some Q-Fig pics on uh, Instagram because I love seeing those Q-Fig pics too. They're, they're very nicely they're so done beautiful. too. We have quite a few Q-Figs now. It's, it's adding up a bit. So. <laughs> of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement, Jason from TV on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye. I gotta get the glue.